Zopu slams Obert Mofu. Zopu has slammed an opinion piece written by ZANU-PF Secretary General, Dr. Obert Moses Mpofu, in which he claimed the ruling party is the only viable political entity in Zimbabwe that has outlived other parties. Saying such deceptive statements had to be challenged. In an opinion piece titled, Opposition Life Short, Nasty and Brutish, published on Sunday by a weekly state-controlled newspaper. Dr. Mpofu claimed that chaos, indiscipline and lust for power have swallowed many opposition parties in this country. According to the ZANU-PF Secretary General, the ruling party is the party that represents what it truly means to be Zimbabwean and that, indeed, being ZANU-PF is being Zimbabwean and being Zimbabwean is being ZANU-PF. In reaction to that opinion piece, Zopo National Spokesperson Richard Gandari stated there is no democratic state in the world in which membership in one political party or another is synonymous with citizenship. If Dr Mpofu genuinely believes his big lie, he genuinely needs psychiatric help to save him from his own unbridled imagination, he said. Gandari noted that Zopo would have ignored Dr Mpofu's blatant lies but his assertions posed a socio-political hazard if left unchallenged. By claiming that ZANU-PF has outlived every other political outfit that has ever tried to deceive the masses, Dr. Mpofu was distorting the historical fact that his ZANU was formed in 1963. Well after Zopu, the original revolutionary party formed in 1961, said the Zopu national spokesperson. Furthermore, to set the record straight, being an opposition party does not amount to deceiving the masses. There is nothing illegal nor subversive in seeking regime change in a democratic state. The Zopo National Spokesperson said as an opposition party, Zopo sought to unseat ZANU-PF from power through constitutional means. We remain unapologetic and clear about our regime change agenda. We believe that multi-party democracy is a contestation of ideas, Gandari said. Only ZANU-PF, through its zealots like Dr Mpofu regards regime change as something illegal, unpatriotic and effectively treasonous. Gandhari said a Zopulate government would preserve the plurality and diversity of political parties and not shut them down. Any repressive regime that does not see the need for opposition parties is not worthy to claim any relationship with democracy as a system of governance, he said. In spite of his bigotry. Dr Mpofu knows for a fact that his party owes its continued existence to temporary unions with the same opposition parties it disparages today. To qualify his statements that ZANU-PF survived on destroying the opposition parties. Gandhari said between 1987 and 2008, ZANU was sanitized by our PF Zopu in a fraudulent unity accord. When Zopu pulled out of the unity accord in 2008, ZANU-PF went haywire in an orgy of violence but could only go it alone for a year. By September 2009, ZANU-PF had staggered into the global political agreement GPA mediated by South Africa's former president Thabo Mbeki, said the Zopo national spokesperson. He further stated that ZANU-PF was given a lifeline out of the GPA that ushered in the Government of National Unity of 2009-2013. ZANU-PF was given a lifeline through partnering with the MDCT led by the late Morgans Vangerai and MDCM led by Professor Arthur Mutambara. Gandhari said, adding that from 2018 to this day, ZANU-PF continues to work with the Political Actors Dialogue POLED, an outfit made up of various opposition parties. Truth be told, Dr Mbofu's false narrative is an attempt to deceive the masses. It is said that in ZANU-PF, a whole secretary-general has to sing for his supper to maintain his place at the feeding trough. Gandhari said Zopu is forced to drift from contempt to pity, considering the low levels to which Dr Mpofu has been forced to stoop. Every right-thinking Zimbabwean should disregard Dr Mpofu's opinion piece with either contempt or pity. For it is a false statement issued by a man held hostage by a draconian political system he cannot escape from, said the Zopo national spokesperson. At the height of his hallucinations, Dr. Mpofu claims that, 
it cannot be denied that ZANU-PF exists in perpetuity. No, Dr. Mpofu, that is a lie. Zimbabwe is a country, ZANU-PF is a mere political party. One day ZANU-PF will be out of power but Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans shall remain. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.